if you've never been involved in speaking on an equal basis with technical people, the professionals, the council officers, uh, it can seem quite daunting. We've been very successful with the estate regenerations at Pipeys and at, at Whitman Lodge, Perry Common especially. Um, but there you were starting with a, from a blank sheet of paper and for people used to having things done for them or done to them, to be asked, what are your ideas, it was a, a bit of a bot from the book. know that we've had interest from, from a variety of, of organisations that when you talk to them you realise that a neighbourhood plan isn't what you need, it's another one of the, the, the other sort of planning tools in our, in our tool. In ACOX Green there was this, they talked about a neighbourhood plan but really it was just a conservation area appraisal element. In Sheldon um, it wasn't a neighbourhood plan they wanted, they just wanted enforcement of your takeaways and things like that. There are areas that clearly do want a neighbourhood plan and are, are, and are passionate about it, something like Sutton Coalfield. Um, but the groups in Sutton Coalfield need to appreciate that there is already a planning framework within which they have to operate. They can't say that Birmingham has decided to put 6,000 houses here, we disagree with it. Because if that if that is taken through in, in the Birmingham Development Plan, that is the higher order plan within which we have to, to operate. It was, it was Borsal Heath and, and Hansworth Lazelles that were put forward. Lazelles, well, I think it, it's in the name, Hansworth and Lazelles. They're two different communities, the, the area was much larger, there were a number of different community groups operating in the area that didn't necessarily get on with each other that well um, and we couldn't we couldn't identify a coherent body to take it forward. In the shires you might have 5,000 people in the parish. In Borsal Heath you've got 15,000 people. Um, in Hansworth I think it was it was bordered on 45,000 people. Now, best will in the world, that's not a neighbour. You don't know the neighbours in that area. You know, you might see people that you, you vaguely recognise, but unless you relate to them, you lose the, the, the whole ethos of, of neighbourhood planning, of community engagement. There, is, there was an area action plan that was, was ongoing at the same time, um, and we felt that you know, we know the community groups, we know what the issues are, this could be you know, fairly straightforward as a pilot. Um, the, the attitude was very similar to Borsal Leaf actually. You know, you've got consultation fatigue, you just get on with it. You know, you've been talking to us for seven years with an AAP. We don't want to start doing an able plan, just do it. We've got the planning protocol. Which, which says these are our responsibilities, these are your responsibilities. We will be helpful, we can be a critical friend, we can be a devil's advocate, but we won't write the plan. But it's very difficult. It's, it's, it's a fine line between saying we're not writing the plan, but you need to do all these changes. So it, it worked very well in Borsal It's working very well in, in jewellery court. But I think that's a legacy of, of our past involvement with community groups. I do know that in, in smaller authorities where you don't have the, the, the numbers of staff but you've got a lot of interest from, from the parish council. In Hereford, Hertfordshire's got 88 on planning, uh, neighbourhood plans on, underway at the moment. I don't know how many planners they've got in the planning department. So, you, so they may not be able to give that amount of time. Um, it can be quite... You know, different times of the, of the process, we could be spending 30% of our, of our week working with a community group. Now that's a lot of, that's a lot of resource and commitment. Um, I, would like to, to, I would like to think that the new direction of the city towards the local centres rather than the city centre focus 
will mean that, that a lot of the other the wider area that haven't had community engagement, neighbourhood plans, planning work generally, we'll be able to start to speak to them and, and develop a meaningful relationship with them.